Okay, so we're almost done with the model. Uh, we just need to finish a few more things. So let's go ahead and make that little piece right there. Um, it's not necessarily a cylindrical shape. It feels more square type. Uh, so, but let's go ahead and use this guy and then we can reduce the topology. I'm going to press Ctrl D. Okay. And first off, I'm going to delete a lot of the edges. So go to Edge. Okay. And select this edge. Double click that edge. Oops. Double click that edge. Double click that edge. Same with these guys. Okay. And these guys as well. I just want to. I just want to simplify it right now. Okay. The same right here. So I'm going to press Control Backspace to delete an edge. Let me get this guy as well. Control Backspace. Okay. And let's go ahead and delete this guy and that guy. Control Backspace. Okay. And obviously now we have a weirdly shaped. So I'm going to select the vertices and press R and scale those guys. And finally, select the whole object and scale that guy down. And I think this is the time where we can reduce the geo. So go to Edge. Let's see, let's select that. Uh, so let's like select this guy. Double click. Double click. Double click. Okay. Control backspace again. Now let's do the same with these guys. Okay, control backspace. Okay, there we have it. So let me put this guy in place. Let's see, it doesn't look to be that far off. Let's see if we put it down like this. Something like this. Let's go to vertex. Let's see, I'm going to move these guys back so that it goes in there. Uh, the picture is a bit hard to see in the picture how exactly this guy goes in there. Uh, let's see, face, I mean vertex, move this guy back just a bit. I think I can scale this like that. Okay, and now I need to add this uh, the attachment that it has there. So Let's do that. I'm going to use the same piece here. Press Ctrl D. Um, I'm going to click right here to isolate select. So now we can only see this guy. Hold that right click, go to face. And what I'll do. Click that face. And then hold down shift. And double click that face next to it. So that it selects the whole loop. Okay. And now what I'll do is hold down shift and drag over the whole object. And as you can see, all the faces are selected except for that uh, face loop. And now backspace to delete them. Okay, now I'm going to press R. I want to make this guy flat. Okay, click here so we can go back to uh, seeing our object here okay now let's see where this guy goes it goes right there so that would be around around here okay go to edge I'm going to scale this guy down so that it goes in there okay cool and now let's see it almost feels like this guy should be closer to it Maybe something like that. I think it kind of goes down like this. So let me go back to this guy. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Okay. Press R, scale this guy down. Okay, I have to be looking at the image here just to make sure I get something that, you know, kind of makes sense. Doesn't look too weird. 
Okay, something like that. Cool. Uh, let's go to edge. Click that. Oops. Go to edge. Click one of the edges here. And I'm going to edit mesh. And actually, no, I'm going to mesh and go to fill hole. Okay. Now go to face and select that one. Now go to edit mesh and poke face. Cool. Okay, now I can delete these guys. I'll just make these guys larger. Like that. Okay. And one thing I want, I want these guys to line up. So let's go to our side view here. So I want to line up this guy with that guy. There we go. And now I'm going to combine these two. Mesh combine. Okay. Again, I'm kind of looking here to see what that looks like. And it looks like it goes like this. So what I can do is, uh, let's see. Oops. I'm going to have this guy selected. So what I can do is go to Edge. And quite possibly what I can do is... If I select these guys. Mm -hmm. Let me face E and I'm going to rotate this guy. Okay, kind of like this. Okay, now go to Edge. Oops. Deselect that one. Select this one. And what I'll do is let's go ahead and just do a bridge. Go to Edit Mesh. Bridge. And here under divisions, I'm gonna set that two. Yeah, maybe two should be all right. Now let me go to our front view so that we can see what this things look. This thing looks like. Uh, let me go to modify center pivot and kind of rotate this guy. Kind of want to have it like this, so it makes more sense to me. Okay, let's see. Going to isolate select it. Okay. And from here, I think it looks like I should have done the uh let me delete those. I should have done the uh, bridge with four faces rather four edges rather than two. So let's go ahead and do that again. Bridge set this to two or possibly just one. There we go. Now scale this guy, oops, let me click here and make sure this is set to roll, double click the uh, scale tool, make sure it's set to roll, mine was set up in a weird way for some reason, let me scale this, let me scale it like this, move it down just a bit, there we go, I think that, that makes more sense to what I had before, Let's see what it looks like here, yeah I think that makes a bit more sense. You, you can shape it a bit better than... You can do a better job than I did with the shaping, but... Uh, I'll keep it like this for now. So now we can rotate it. This. Let me go here. So that it actually lines up with the... Uh, oops. Okay, I think that's lining up just a bit. Kind of like that, I think. I think we can have it uh, more like this. Move this guy. And then we can move this guy just a bit like here. I think that looks better. That makes a bit more sense, I think. Anyway, uh, this guy makes a bit more uh, shaping. So what I can do is go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool, uh, two edges right here. Go to Face and select those faces, and go to Edit Mesh, Transform Component. Let's go that just a bit like that. Kind of like that. Okay. 
just to give it a bit more silhouette. I think it may even need a bit, just a slightly more. So if I add, I add another edge loop, right here and one right here, Q, press, I mean go to face, select those faces and go to transform component, use the blue arrow, remember to use the blue arrow, and leave this down. Leave the guy like that. I think that's that's looking fairly decent.